Hi, Water Signs. It's Lulu. And today, oh, you can see the little plugs down there. Okay. How y'all doing? All right. Today, I'm going to do your spiritual conversation. Any information that you need is below in the description box. Okay. Now then. Thank you so much for your love and support. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. All right. What information do you have for my beautiful water signs, honey? Look at this. All right, water signs. What's been going on? Um, look. So. There may be a situation that arises. Okay, it's gonna come out of nowhere. It's gonna take you by surprise. It's meant to take you by surprise. You can't know everything. That's what life is about, experiencing th new things, right? So there's gonna be some kind of monkey wrench thrown in your plans. <laughs> First card out is caring connections. Why are you doing my water signs like deep right there? Why, is you, why are you coming out like that for the water signs? Tell me. Okay, so maybe some of you have uh, recently met someone or maybe you renewed your vows or you're taking your relationship to the next level. Um, this It says caring connection, but it can also be, this is a Gemini card. I believe this is the uh, lovers, okay? My thing with this is <clears throat> you trying to find your grounding because this is the one leading into a four, okay? So you're trying to find your grounding. That one leading into that four equals a, goes into a five. Okay, so you want to make sure that you are not jumping into a situation. If this is a new, um, uh, someone is recently y'all are courting, you want to make sure that you are taking your time and not falling into that uh, honeymoon stage and, and you all in your heart and ain't taking your mind with you. That's what they see. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Crown chakra. This is someone you have a strong connection with. <laughs> the indecision. You're going to be relieving, receiving a lot of insight right here at Water Signs. Ooh, doing romance. Hold on. Oh, no. Somebody got an ex. How do Water Signs trick me into a relationship reading? How y'all do that? After that whole surprise, let me go and clarify some of these cards because I already see some drama and I don't want to get ahead because what? Mm-mm. Current connection, seven chakra, then indecision. <sighs> Calm down. In this situation with this person, you want to take it to the next level. I feel like y'all are going to take it to the next level, but there's going to be some possibly some text messages, something that you see, something that is revealed that may cause an argument, that may cause some type of upset, some type of disagreement, somebody getting blocked, somebody is blocking the nouns. Okay. They like, they looking, look, this is how they looking. They looking like, I'm not about to stress about this no more. You know, I'm going to go ahead and block you because you really, you, you know, you're fucking with my head right there. That's what you see. Or they see. But this is what's crazy though. Let me tell you. Once a decision is made, okay, at the crossroads, need to make a decision. Don't know how to make the decision, which, which direction to go. Trying to figure it out based on your limits, based on what you've been through and who you think you are and what have you, instead of taking this leap of faith, because I'm seeing here that in this connection, um, it's gonna have to, it's gonna have to be broken down to be rebuilt. What does that mean? I feel it may be two women. Ooh, child, somebody need to choose between the person that they live with and the person that they love. It ain't for all of y'all, but we got two women. We got a powerful woman and a loving woman. A woman that's about her business. Now, some of y'all might be the, that one woman. A powerful woman and a loving woman. I feel like it's two different women because you got, I was clarifying, I was talking and looking at this. So, apparently, you see, someone has a decision to make and they're going to, they're going to choose um, romance. They're going to choose. They're going to go with their heart, I feel. So we got a powerful woman and loving woman here. I told y'all something going to come out of nowhere. Um, yeah, somebody going to pick up the other person's phone. Something like that, honey. So let me see here, because this went into love. Y'all know how I feel about love readings. Now, 
this connection, I feel like someone is going to take action, though. They're going to take action for what they really and truly want. They're going to take action in, in, with what they truly and fully want because of um, this knowledge, this divine knowledge. This is like they cannot deny what is being shown to them. And they, I feel like it, it's either you or the person that you are dealing with. It's probably both of y'all because we attract a lot. If you are wide open to all of this, and you meet somebody, more than likely they open to it. They might be in a space where they're scared, but they have been successful because they have used their intuition. They have went with their good feelings. They have a strong connection. They just don't know how to use it with intent. Like, y'all be doing this stuff. Y'all is sneaky. Now, what I'm getting here is that there's a strong... Someone is realizing, like, this is what I've always wanted. But how... I know that once I make a decision, it's going to move rapidly. The thing is, you may not... Between the two of you... You, uh, someone isn't what the, um, what is look good. Not, not look, may, well, maybe, maybe it's that the person doesn't look good on paper or they don't look, they're not the type that like, this person may have a circle of friends or a group that they hang with or like, um, even take, um, uh, what, who they take to their company, um, parties or whatever. Like it's a whole status thing. So they coming out of it though. They like, look, I want what I want, man. A cornucopia of blessings. When they make the decision, they know. I'm telling you, ain't nothing like a connection like this. Ain't nothing like a connection like this, y'all. Because when a person decides to go with their book, of, with the go with the book of life, when they decide to follow their intuition on this level, when it comes to romance, it may be a little scary. But at the end of the day, they get the blessings. They know that they're going to be blessed. They know that um, it's going to work out for the better because they know that they want this person. Fuck with everybody else saying. Like, they probably coming out of it. They probably, you whoever it is, they probably used to be the type of person that uh, they had to have this type of person, that type of person. They grew up right there. They matured and realized that they want someone who, um, what they've always seen they themselves with. The type of partner that they've always seen themselves with. And not the type of partner that people say that they're supposed to have, okay? This is someone, If it's either you or them. Someone is going to be in a space where they are happy to have you on their arm. They are happy to, you know, uh, show you off. You don't look like all the rest of them and you don't dress like all the rest of them. But th they just love that the connection that y'all have, right? So what's going to happen? Fired up. Okay, let's slow down, y'all. Because they went into like, it's either you or them, but I feel like it's the other person. This is not a personal, honey. Don't take it personal. Now, what is this indecision? I don't want what I had. I don't want what I had. I don't want what I had. Can't cry over spilled milk. They don't want to be in regret. They don't want to be in remorse. They probably missed out on somebody like you a long time ago, and they like, nah, now I'm finna go for it. Now I'm finna go for it. Now I'm here for it. Now, now she ain't getting away. He ain't getting away. I ain't finna do that. I'm finna walk through the door of romance because I heard you ain't got to wear no pants. Boom. Mm. Cornucopia of blessings. Yeah. So five of uh, cups. Looking back at how they were done, like no matter how it looked with, um, you know, doing things for status or whatever it is. No matter how that looked, they realized that I, I was giving my cups to people and they were just pouring them out and shit. I was giving my cups to people and they were just, you know, stepping on my little cups. I could have, you know, it was a little water in there. I could have, you, you know, scooted over to the grass and gave the grass life or something. Like, how you misuse my cups like that? My feelings, my emotions, my love. But this is a huge change in someone's life. They want better, whoever it is. It's probably y'all now. They want better. They want to see things from a different perspective here. Looking back on what has been and looking forward like what could be, honey. Eight of Wands. This is a, state, a space of confusion. Somebody feels like they don't have enough. They can't be enough. They, you know, a state of confusion. This is the envy card, but we're going to look at it the other way in a second. They don't, I don't have a lot that goes with that aside from it crossing hostilities. Okay? But it's these got twos in them and harmony in them. This moves into an eight. That's a two overall. This is coming together regardless of the obstacles, challenges, or what have you. Um, I feel like with this eight of wands, someone wants to move forward, but they want to make sure they got all their ducks in a row. They're going to make sure that they have, um, they got, yeah, they want to make sure they have all their ducks in a row before they move forward. Someone is doing a lot of thinking on how they are going to move forward because they don't know. They don't know. They're just going to, man, they just going to go. Like, you know what? I've been fighting for a long time. Let me go ahead and just jump up in that water. 
See if I can dog paddle or a dead man float. I'm gonna get through there. Hold on. What is this envy card? Ten of swords. Letting it go. Tired of putting on a show. Because see with this envy card, this has a lot to do with um it can be with this woman not being appreciative of what she has, she always looking at him having a sense of lack or I don't have enough or what have you. It can also be envious people paying attention to what the woman has, but it, and then she don't even see herself like that. It could be that. It could be just jealousy and envy, right? But with this ten of swords, somebody is, is tired. They are tired. They are tired. They are looking re revisiting their life. So they, it's like with that whole status thing, right? What 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 looks good to other people? I'm not, I don't have to be happy. I just want to do what look good to other people. If you don't get your... Now, so they're in this space. They tired. They give up. This is it. This Some got to give. And guess what come after that? Again, walking through the door, door of romance with no pants. Please, use condoms. Now, or like my doctor say, don't have sex till you engage the marriage. <laughs> when you four kids late. Now, it's time. Somebody give up. Like, it's time. I'm willing to give it all up to walk through this door of romance. So they're going back and forth with themselves, but eventually they're going to see what was shown to them. Eventually they're going to see what was shown to them. Had to do that kind of hard right there. Hold on. Clarify this cornucopia of blessings. They taking them to the... They taking them. They... Some of y'all going to be invited. Yeah, it's going to come out of nowhere. You may be invited to the holiday party with the family and all that. <laughs> Child, go on ahead and, and build it up, honey. And, and little snide remarks and little comments, you know, just look over them. Have your little to-go-to quick-witted answers that, you know, the little nice nasty answers or whatever. Because some of y'all already get it. You don't want to feel played and nothing like that. But you don't want to go off on these folks because you in love with this person, okay? You, I mean, you really know that you can take this somewhere with this person. So this is Three of Cups. Right, <clears throat> this is a three of cups. You may be invited somewhere, and um, unbeknownst to the person that's taking you, because they think that um, I'm just gonna this is my baby, and I don't care, baby. You coming with me, okay? Don't be like when they do that. No, you coming with me, you come with me, and you go, and it's gonna be better than what you thought, though. But you gotta always, you know, stay dangerous and you know, have your look go to's or whatever, and hope for the best. It's gonna be good, it's gonna be nice, but just in case, I got mace now. With this three of cups as well, um, illusions dispel. The, they they go the the illusion of what could possibly be or what have you. The illusion of um, I don't know. I really want to invite them. I really want to take them. I really want to show up this person because whoever this is, they probably stopped showing up with people to family events because at the end of the day, they had to start realizing. They had this awakening. They had to start realizing like I ain't been happy about. Going these places by myself or having to show up with somebody I really don't, this really ain't my type or this really ain't somebody I mesh well with. This ain't somebody that we go in there and we have fun and we get in the car and be like, man, did you see what I ain't paid a hat on? Did you, did you, did you eat some of that macaroni? Okay. People be wanting that connection. Ain't nobody got time for that fake shit. All right. So that's when the person really makes up their mind. They cutting somebody all the way out. All they little friend, or they little um, I'm gonna take you because you, you know at least I've been taking you for the, for all this time cutting it out. It's gonna be an argument. There may be an argument because this person is. It may be you are the person, but I really feel like this the person stressing out. What am I gonna do? How am I gonna make this happen? How am I going to protect my person? How am I going to protect my interests? How how does this work? How does this work? It worked out well. Now this person knows that they're gonna have to cut somebody out. The picture that they painted, they finna have to, you know, they need a whole another canvas. It's time to paint another picture. So now there is someone who is mad as I don't know what. They're very violent. This person didn't know that the person was violent. They didn't know that the person was gonna try to blackmail them and extort them. What the hell? Who is very much ghetto right there, honey? They didn't know that. I need my water. Can uh, can y'all call a Sagittarius and tell them that I need my water? Thank you. Line one. What is this hostility for my water signs? King of Cups. King of Cups. This person, whoever this is that uh, that's gonna be battled with. This is someone that is emotionally intelligent. You don't even know how they feeling or what they feeling. They know how to say the right things for the right reasons. They know when to say the right things. They can read a room in their body. 
They feel everything. They are highly intuitive. What did this King of Cups do for it to be hostile like this? Five of Wands. Playing games. So I told you this person got to cut somebody off. Whether it's a man or a woman. They need to cut somebody off. They got to get these bitches out of here. <laughs> get these bitches out of here. They got to get these bitches out of here. Right? All these dudes. She got to get these dudes out of here. She got to go ahead and, and make the decision. Like, no. No matter what this... You know, I got to get rid of all this right here because... I'm, I'm moving on what I'm moving on. And this is what's crossing the current connection and the door to romance. I'm moving on what I'm moving on. I'm not moving on nothing that I, that don't, you know, serve me. I'm not moving on anything else. Like, I I, I got all this good feeling, all these good rewards. Some Somebody is really not realizing that this is the, the decision to make. I'm going to tell you why. Whether it's a man or a woman, but I'm going to go with men right now because I'm a woman and I deal with men. Okay? So, if it's a man, right? And because I've... Uh, uh, been through this before myself, right? So if it's a man that got a water, I got to get these bitches out of her. If it's a man that has to do that, he take you somewhere and realize he made the right decision. What happens with him is a lot of things start lining up and happening for him. Even more, when a man gets with the right woman, the, a lot of stuff start happening. A lot of stuff starts happening. Doors start opening that were once closed. Coins start falling where there were nothing. I'm just saying. And it's that goddess energy as well. When a man deals with a goddess and realizes that he's a god, you know, the embodiment of those type of traits and characteristics, things happen when powerful people get together. That's what they said, babe, because, you know... But I did witness that before in my life. Like, things happen for people when they make the right decision and, be, and begin to build. It's harvest season, baby. So someone is deciding, like, now nah, I got to get the... Get, get. Yeah. Arguments, chaos, conflict. What is this action called, honey? Taking action because of the towel. I told y'all, I, I thought the storm card was going to come out. Didn't I say that? I don't remember. Towel. It has to be it has to be brought down. Someone is escaping the rain of that by going ahead. This is coming after the fact. And what's gonna happen here is that, you know, someone may have to give up a number of things just to be with the other person and they don't curl. They do not curl. They they are causing a tower in the lives of get, 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 get. they're causing a tower in the lives. And the only reason they're causing a tower in the lives is because these people probably invested in this person and they never were that person. Sandcastles. Clarify this towel. Yep. Somebody decided to tell these people that they are single or um, deciding not to be single anymore, looking out and realizing what they have invested and how far they have come and taking action and going ahead and getting that ten of pentacles, uh, being with someone who can help them capitalize and get where they need to go, get capitalize in whatever ways, get where they need to go, have that family that they want, build that empire that they want, Create that legacy even more so that they want to what have you. It's happening. They said, fuck that. I'm going to go. Yeah. This one leads to the seven. They independently realize and assess certain situations. They already knew what they had to do and when they had to do it, but they had to take that action. They've been a player for a long time. They done bought a lot of coochie. Or if it's a woman that's single, she done, you know, she's been a player a long time. And she, run, she finally realized what she wants. And it's going to be groundbreaking. This is something that is going to uh, cause some chaos and confusion. But whoever it is, they are ready for it. They are not tripping on it. Clarify this hostility card. This anxiety card. The hierophant. A lot of people, this person I already know that some people, and it may be like the, the people that they got to ward off. Right? They ain't going to be down for it. This is uh, being elevated as well. It could be the high priest as well. But this is someone that is standing in their truth, standing in their power. They know what they want. This could also be a courthouse wedding. Some of y'all maybe get married at the courthouse. Y'all probably get married online in this day and age. I don't even know how it works no more, Chad. But I do feel that this hierophant has a lot to do with taking the relationship to that level. Mm-hmm. That one. Okay. Five of swords. I told you naysayers right um just just moving with it though with this five of swords 
whoever this is that's trying to uh, talk this person out of it, or maybe this Five of Swords is coming in as like um, negative text, negative post on fa on um, I was gonna say Facebook, but on um, social media sites. I wasn't worried about. Some of y'all have some uh, player coming in and trying to woo you and make things right. They don't want nothing. Whoever this is. This it's the Hierophant versus the Knight of Wands. Who gonna win? Who gonna win? The Hierophant versus the Knight of Wands. The Two of Cups win. All right, I love y'all. The Two of Cups win in the end. If you made it this far, what's been going on? Hmm. Huh? Oh, let me pull two of the three of these for y'all real quick. I did it for the earth signs, and I forgot I had them right here because I pulled them out for the earth signs. What information do you have for my beautiful water signs, honey? They got them a little boot on. Practice. Polish your skills and practice regularly. So some of y'all probably can't cook. So the thing about, you know, cooking, bitch, they got YouTube videos. You can get you a little recipe box or whatever. You get your recipe book or whatever. Get you a nice recipe book. It's time to practice make perp flowers. Working with flowers opens your heart and brings blessings to others through your life purpose. So practice makes perfect in um, flowers. Some of you may be into herbal uh, remedies, herbal treatments, um, or even just planting, learning to plant and garden on a, a wide scale or whatever. Please, we need more farmers. Thank you. So whichever way that goes, but also this is you um, with your self-care, self-love as well and doing that type of practice so that you will know that you are a beautiful, delicate flower. And you are worthy of uh, blossoming into more of who you are, you see. Energy healing. Your natural energy healing abilities are an important part of your life purpose. They see. I'm going to go. Y'all just be doing the most. Doing the most because the most worth doing. Doing the most because the most worth doing. <laughs> 